Hey guys, welcome back to the Phil Studio. This is the first episode of the season 2. Actually, in this season we will talk a lot about microphone. So just to get started up, I will introduce you to the basic, the very basic of the audio physics. See you. Okay, so audio signal is a physical wave that cannot be seen with our eyes but can be heard with our ears. This is not a secret. Audio is traveling into the air at a speed of 343 meters per second. The range of frequencies a human ear can perceive is around 20 Hz to 20 kilohertz. But when people age, their ear faculty declines and tend to lose some high frequencies. So audio is a wavelength, you say. Let's analyze this perfect sine wave. The eighth of the wave actually is called amplitude, also known as the volume. So this is the volume of the signal. The length of the wave is actually called, also known as the pitch. So the higher the pitch, the higher the frequency is. A 20 Hz frequency will execute 20 cycles per second, and the 20 kHz frequency will execute 20,000 cycle per second. That's why we refer to it as the period. A complex audio signal such as my voice or a guitar playing would look a little bit different than this wave actually. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, I suggest you take a look at my oscilloscope video. So, we're pretty done with the physics for now. So, what is a microphone? A microphone is a device capable of capturing audio frequencies. What you may want to know about a microphone may be explained in this following diagram. Here we have a diaphragm which will react to the audio spectrum. The diaphragm will vibrate at each audio signal it can receive, like that. This part is attached to a coil here that will move with the diaphragm and create an electromagnetic field because of the magnet here that is inside the coil and around the coil. The coil usually have two hands, the positive signal and the negative signal. Some microphones are by far more complicated than this one, but we will stick with this design for now. The audio signal at the output of the coil may be a really small signal around millivolt. That's why the signal will then be fed into a pre-amplifier circuit to then be output into a mixer, um, your amplifier or your computer. So that was the very basic of a dynamic microphone. A speaker is exactly the same design but in reverse. The signal at the input is very loud and is coming from an amplifier. Then is feed into the coil and create a magnetic field because of the magnet and then it moves the diaphragm which will produce the sound. Let's make an experimentation with a speaker used as a microphone so you can see actually on the scope what's going on when we move the diaphragm of a dynamic microphone. Usually a signal 
is sent into a speaker like this one. But here we're going to use the speaker as an audio capture device or just a voltage inducer. By manually moving the diaphragm back and forth, we will create the effect, the exact field effect such as a microphone would do. Both positive and negative end of the speaker are plugged into my oscilloscope so we may see the result or what we're outputting of the speaker. The faster I will move the diaphragm, the higher the pitch of the frequency we will generate. The harder I push, the bigger the voltage is at the output. But I don't recommend doing this so much since you may damage your speaker. If you want to experiment, take a small toy speaker like this one. I got this speaker from a toy keyboard. So by pushing, I'm generating a voltage. By pushing repeatedly, I will generate a kind of a frequency. I will make it old for you. So you see there's like like a frequency created here because we're generating a positive voltage when we push and when we let it up we generate a negative signal so we're creating AC or audio signal with this little speaker that's about it for our experiences I hope now you have a better understanding of the invisible world of audio frequencies next time we will build a really simple contact microphone for your acoustic guitar instrument see ya Thank you.